No Jumper, man. T Real. I'm back. I'm here with my boy Janky YLSTE. Don't worry about nothing. And gang I'm like, gang. yeah, and you know, I'm not gonna lie. It took me about a hundred times to practice my name. This <laughs> snack for we when we fresh start, but I'm here with my boy. You feel me? Yeah. What's the deal? That's the weird say. They don't know how to pronounce my name. They just know I'm famous or some shit like that. That's, I yeah. mean, that's all I need though, low yeah. key. Yeah, that's all I need though, low <laughs> key. I look like it. Yeah. What's yeah, up with you though? Somebody. Man, I'm good, living good, man. Like I was telling you earlier, I, I just got done fighting this case with my son. It's not all the way through out yet, but they they about to throw it out. Like I've been doing my shit, so. Your actual son? My actual son, he's three, he three years old. Okay, so who fighting the case, you or him? I'm fighting the case to be in his life because his mom's just trying to X that out or whatever she got going on. Basically, she got a restraining order on me and yeah, that was kind of fucking up my visitations with him and all that shit. So I had to prove to the court that like, I'm, I'm a good father, you feel me, basically. How do you build that much, or you guys build that much resentment towards each other to, you know, have a restraining order to I mean, like, you know kind of like, you know, you know relationships, then when you end them, they go bad, whatever. But it was just an altercation that we had really that just, that just did it. Basically what had happened was, I was, I had my son for his birthday. She ain't want me to have him. It was like, uh, earlier this year, January, his birthday in January. Uh, I'm probably logging that. But um, yeah, I had him for his birthday. I took him to Disneyland and all the shits. So when I'm trying to take him back home, he like, I don't wanna, you feel me? Like, I don't wanna go back to my mama. I was like, I wanna stay with you. So he ain't in school and shit at the time, you feel me, he on break. So I'm like, fuck it, like, he, you feel me, he stand with me. But I'm communicating with his mama. She trying to act like I'm not talking to her or whatever, like I'm ignoring her. So. Feel me? Basically, she, I tell her to meet me like at the police station because basically she called me like the night before she did all the bullshit that I'm about to explain to you. She was like, um, basically like, uh, she was acting like, you feel me, I wasn't trying to bring him back or something, but I put him in my car, you feel me, to bring him back, he started crying. So the whole, whole time I, I'm calling her like, you hear your son crying, I'm trying to bring him back, he don't want to come back. So I take him back to the house, she, she's still on the phone. And he like, uh, she trying to bribe him, like, oh, I got you a cake. And around this time, he like cars and shit, you know, he, he feel me about to turn three. So that's his shit. She like, oh, I got you some cars, cake and shit. He like, okay, bring it to bring it to dad's house. Like he told her out his own mouth. So I'm like, bro, like, like what the fuck do you expect me to do? You want me to like bring my kid while he crying at the top of his lungs? So I'm like, just basically coming, because I live a while, an hour away from LA once, you feel me? Shit got real for a nigga, a nigga moved away. So. I live an hour away from LA. So I'm like, basically you can meet me at the police station. It's four minutes away from my house. So this is the day after. She come out or whatever. She was playing games about coming out the whole time, but she told me she was coming. So she come out or whatever. She told me she was coming at 11, then come till 2.30. So as soon as I'm putting my, my son in the car, she texts me like, oh, we here. I'm putting my son in the car to take him, you feel me? To the police station. She pull up with her mama, her, her brother, her sister, her nigga, and some other people. It's like two cars thick. So I'm putting my son in my in, in the car. I'm putting my uh my nephew in the car. I think my my girl right there. I, uh, my mama right there. So for me, he pull up woofing and shit. They pull up like she bounce out with sweats. Like they not trying to get my son. They didn't ask like where 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 Chase at. That's his name. They they was like where Chase at. They didn't say that not one time. They woofing to my mama. So I don't say too much. I go in the house, I grab my, my burner, feel me? And then he bounce out the car or whatever. No, I, I, I grab blood out the car, like, nigga, get out the car. And he opened the door, he got out. And then I think my baby mama, she tried to fire on me on the set. So I like, you feel me? I pushed her and shit, my bitch get up on her. Automatically, I'm on blood. I start beating blood with the stick. I beat blood with the stick. And then basically after I beat blood with the stick, it was, it was over with, you feel me? I think her little brother went to went to the car and grabbed my son out the side, and then once I seen that, I'm like, you feel me? Get get the, like get out of here! Like y'all already got what y'all want. Like get up out of here! You feel me? Because if they take this anywhere further, and then gonna die around this motherfucker, so I let it be. Was gonna be they got on. Then after that, she started calling police and all the shits. Like she didn't just pull up to my house. You feel me? So all in all, that's why I ain't in jail today because she was all the way in the wrong. And you feel me? I didn't do nothing but stay on my ground. Yeah. But the reason I had to fight the case with my son 
brandishing a gun, a firearm in front of my child. Oh, so when the last time you seen your son? Shit, last weekend, just spent the night. That's what I'm saying. Shit getting good, shit getting better. He just now was, hey, I was his first night spending night at my house since since that incident. That was his first time spending night at my house. That was in January. What the fuck is it? August? Yeah. What <laughs> where that's that's yeah, that shit sound crazy. I mean, but at at some point you, you gotta be kinda like selfish. You feel me? As a as a mother and a father, y'all got a kid. So, and to be doing that shit, at some point, motherfuckers got to be like, we can't be doing this nah, shit. We got to come to middle ground. Yeah, nah, that's what I'm on at this point in time. But a motherfucker, I don't know how she feel, but I feel like she feel that she in too deep now that the case already being fought and all that. He ain't all, he didn't been through what he been through so far. She like, fuck it, nigga. Like, you feel me? We going to keep this shit breaking. That's how I feel like she feel. But me, I don't give a fuck. I don't really, I didn't care about her before the situation. I don't care about what she be got, you feel me, going on now. It's just all about him, you feel me? So. Do you think that's the reason that she want to be back with you? It could be a very possible reason. My mom and my and my father has told me that was a, a very possible reason. But. Did she give you I like any clear fuck. indications that she, you know? We can't make no contact. Like. I mean, I guess when she, you feel me, when I see her, she be trying to do the most, like, booty shorts and look at me. And when we exchange a son, <laughs> when we exchange a kid, when we exchange my kid, you feel me? But it's no... Oh, she bending over getting the kid at the car seat trying to see what it do, you it's, feel it's me? No, it's no extra. It's no extra, you feel me, for me, for my end. It's like, bitch, you put me through, you feel me, unnecessary. You yeah. feel me? And then not only me, it's him. I don't give a fuck about fighting the case. It ain't nothing that nobody in here can say they didn't do. You feel me? Everybody fought a case before. That ain't nothing. But when you making my nigga three years old <laughs> to fight a case, like, come on, man, that shit garbage. He got lawyers and shit, people coming to see him, telling him when he can and when, when he can't see his father. He been trying to come to my house since the incident happened. And this is, like I said, last week was his first time coming back to my house. Yeah, that's weird as fuck. Especially for, for a three-year-old. For a three-year-old. That's all I'm that's saying. That's weird as fuck. How the fuck can you even wrap your mind around this situation when you that young? Yeah, that's weird as fuck. And it ain't like me and him not like that because we really is. If you know me, watch my gram or anything, you know how I am with my son. We really like that. Yeah. So that shit right there in itself, the only thing that makes me mad about the situation. It's like I've been taking classes. I've been taking anger management, all type of shit to feel me, prove to the courts that I'm going to do what I you feel me, been doing since the nigga been bored. Like, it ain't nothing gonna never knock me off my pivot with him. Like, man, that's something I created. That's a seed that I planted. Yeah, you know, before you came here, we was discussing this. Um, and I'm like, you know, and I was discussing with you too. Like, I'm like, I ain't really, I don't really, I'm trying to research you, do a whole bunch of shit. You yeah. know, so I'm trying to get into it, trying to get in touch with, you know, what you got going on. Other okay. than the music, you feel me? I'm trying to get on another personal side. And, Absolutely. and it's not really. A lot out there, and you feel me. And you, sure. you stated that you know you feel like motherfuckers is kind of scared of you. Yeah. You feel me, like and don't want to you know tap in with you. That's what you feel like. Definitely, it's it's like even the motherfuckers who do tap in or whatever, like we got songs or something. It be shit like this. Like I be hearing you on there asking niggas like, who you think next up? Yeah. My name don't bum up. That's why you don't know who I am. That's why you ain't hurt. Cause it's not nobody in LA that's trying to really. Like, give a nigga a helping hand. Like, you ain't even ask this nigga what he do or why he here or what he do. You feel me? But he's sitting right here in the No Jumper interview. You feel me? But this my producer, though. Not not yet. I ain't <laughs> asked <it. laughs> I've been asking yet. You feel me? Waiting. But yeah, yeah, you, know, okay. you feel me? But yeah, this my producer, we, though. We own No Jumper. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and people not familiar with you. And you like when motherfuckers they gonna see this interview they gonna tap in yeah, so we gonna start fine. from the fucking beginning for sure you feel me so Let's do it. you know tell me how i was you know how i was growing up man i mean shit i'm from Baldwin village california if y'all don't know what that is the jungles if y'all don't know what that is y'all not tapped in but um yeah i mean shit all your life being from the jungles every every day since i was born like i was raised in a in a in a crack house in a trap yeah I ain't gonna go too go too deep on who whose it was, but you feel me? That's that's what I was. My guardians, that's what they did for a living. That's what they did to support me since I was a baby, all the way up until I was in high school. Like I like I was telling you, like I played football. Like I I was doing the whole little trying to get out the hood type shit. You feel me? Pops made that. You feel me? A uh, 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 
possible for me. He made sure that I went to the schools that I needed to go to. You feel me? Like I, I went for, I went to Dorsey for a little bit. That's the only real school I went to. Cause other than that, I was in all uh, private schools. Like I went to oh. some shit called Salesian. I don't know if you, if you know what it is. So the crack, uh, selling dope. You feel me? Funded you going to private school? Definitely. That's crazy. Definitely. It funded my 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 dad had eight kids. Yeah. So it funded, you feel me, everything, you feel me? It funded his daddy, you feel me? Like, if you don't know who my people's is, my, my grandfather is T. Rogers. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, th- I, I know I told you that in the DM, but, you know, to put it out there in the interview, that's who my that's who my people's is. So that's why I was even, you feel me, in the crack house to begin with, you feel me? That nigga, you know, that nigga didn't did what he did all through the streets. He didn't push the crack all through. And that's super legendary, there, man. He that your your grandfather is T. Rogers, and he, you know what I'm saying. Your family members selling dope. They um, and then you know, they funding everything for you to have a better life. But in between there, did you say ever say to yourself like, damn, like this shit look crazy. I'm like fuck football, I might have to go see what it do. Selling over dope, here. no, because I see the money, but I also see. The shit that niggas don't see. Like, I see the, the dope heads. Like, the people that's coming to get their drugs. I see what drugs they buy, and I see what the drugs do to them. You feel me? So I'm like, damn, bro, that, 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 that's so key fucked up. Like, that's the homie, bro. You got the homie out here, asshole naked in the rain, off that shit that you selling me, Pops. Like, bro, like I mean, I know it's the set. I know it's, 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 it's the lifestyle, but I, I couldn't be one of them niggas. Like, you feel me? I couldn't. To fuck up the community like I'm, that. Don't get me wrong, like nigga, I was selling. Do- nigga, it's my. Come on, man. So you did. So that's crazy. So did it start after high school or no. did it? Nigga, hey, you know take this saying? to the take this to what's the name for me? Oh, that's cool. That's wild. Come on, blood. Like it was never nothing like I wanted to do, but it's like to me, I'm not selling. I'm a little kid, huh, little nigga. My dad, you feel me? So you grew right into it. So I'm right in the dope game. And fuck it, I'm from Jungles too. Fuck it, I'm Oswald just bang bloods too. Fuck it. It was my banging came from the oppositions talking about we gonna do this and this to to whoop de whoop. You feel me? Because I'm just like I said, I play ball. So I'm around it, of course. I'm everybody in here from Jungles, and I'm in here too. No matter what's going on, fucking bitches, drugs, partying. No matter what the occasion, ain't nobody gonna close the door on me. You can't. Yeah. Only thing they closed the door on me was actually getting my my uh, cord on. Cause I tell you, I never got my cord on. Yeah. But I am full fledged from where I'm from. From jungles. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, they ain't nothing gonna die for it. I mean, it's a lot of people like that though. I mean, you jumped off the porch as a as a kid. You feel me? Your mom, your dad into it. You feel me? This is where I'm at. Then it just it's like that. I, I, I'm I grab my even, name. I'm I'm I that. couldn't even I couldn't even get a cord on. Yeah. It was homies like come to the back. It was homies like nigga. No, go to the front. That nigga's not bumming back here. And if you got a problem, we can squabble. Mm-hmm. I, can't, I can't. I can't answer that right now. Yeah, I mean, shit. They just gonna have to walk in. If y'all beat this, walk in. <laughs> <laughs> it's over with now. Yeah. Your ass is late. It's you feel me? It's over with. But, but you know, uh, um, football. So high school, play football. Did you get accepted to college? Um. I got an offer, but I got hurt in the 11th grade, and I wasn't able to play my 12th grade year, and that's when it all went sour. Well, it wasn't even sour, because 11th grade, I was already rapping. Oh, okay. I was already rapping. So the love for music came in high school. The love for music was always there. Yeah. My, like I said, I was a, you feel me? I was, a, I was one of them, of a member. So B. Brazy, all them, Mac 10. Nigga, I'm a little nigga in the back of a, a red lowrider. Nigga, that's all he doing, banging that gangster shit. So I'm just back there, Dad, play that Mac 10, play that Mike Jones, whatever, you feel me? Whatever, play that Brazy, whichever, you feel me, whichever, you feel me, I'm feeling. Or whichever, you feel me, he playing, or whatever it is. Like, music was always a, a passion for me, you feel me? I was never, I never thought as a youngin' or up until my high school days that I would ever start doing music, no. Yeah, so. But, you feel me, all I seen was football, that's all I, I was bred that. Pops made sure I knew what the streets was, but I also knew what I wanted to do, you feel me? So I, I always had an exit route. On your exit route was music? Football. Oh, football. This was Plan B for me. Plan Pop. B was football? No, Plan Plan B was rapping. Plan B was rapping. Yeah. yeah. Then you get hurt, then you go full-fledged. Yeah. And you just go full-fledged at it, and that's probably like after 12th grade? Um, nah, it was 11th grade because 11th grade, 
I did a song called Thotty K. And that was like 2013, 2014. And it was, it was whatever to me. I said, I wasn't giving a fuck. I was playing football. But one day that nigga Joe Moses was tweeting that shit on Twitter. And this was like 2014, 2013. I'm still in high school. I mean, like I said, like the big homies from the set was like, nigga, that's the, that's the little homie. Like, nigga, do a remix. I think it was the homie Lil Smiley B. I think he in jail. Free the homie. But uh, yeah, he, 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 uh, he one of the generals in the set. Uh, homies, but basically... He, he told Blood, like, man, that's my young nigga. Bounce on the thing. And then Blood did it. He hit me like, nigga, what's happening? He was like, low B, trying to fake take me under his wing, like what Q doing for me right now. But, you know, he was still building himself as an artist. It's 2013, Joe Moses, you feel me? So, Yeah. yeah. So um, tell me about, like, Wild STE. Like, how did that form and, like, who that, all from it, and you know? That was always, you feel me, what it was. That yeah. was always, you feel me? That's Young Living Savage. We was YLS at first, then we added the TE, that mean the Empire, because it was niggas like, bro, who wasn't there from day one, mm -hmm. but he's still a part of this empire, you feel me? Yeah. So, yeah, that's that's our shit now, YLS TE. I said everybody that said, and I walked in the building with me. They basically helped me. It's 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 my label, basically. It's my label, YLS TE. What I get from you, you know, listening to you and, you know, you know, um, listening to your music, you know, and I'm just a good judge of character. I feel like a lot of times or most of the times out here, you feel like you overlooked. Definitely. You feel me? You feel like you overlooked and, you know, I feel why like, do you feel like niggas is overlooking you besides the gang why shit? Why do I feel like it? Yeah. I know it ain't got no nothing to do with gang shit because my young niggas, Baby Stone Gorillas, just prove. It ain't it ain't no red or blue. A nigga going they gonna like what they like. Ain't mm -hmm. no red or I mean it's of course it's always that. But when it comes to making a product, making that music, making that, a nigga gonna like what they like. You feel me? But if for, as far as what it is with me, I'm not I'm not getting that that extra oh, that that extra push or that extra go listen to this. I feel like when niggas hear my music, it's like, damn, ain't no competing with this. You feel me? I'm not even trying to be on no cocky shit or nothing because I'm on no jumper. Like, if you listen to my music, I got, like, I got a real story. I'm not just, you feel me, whatever niggas is talking about, partying, drugs, whatever that, I'm not on that. I got a real story behind my shit. My shit means something, you feel me? So the fact that I'm even, you feel me, who I am, you feel me? The fact that I'm a nigga, like, a nigga like T. Rogers, I'm his grandson. I'm going to carry that, you feel me? I ain't even about to just... Let's just say TDE. Them niggas picked the nigga up. This my boy right here. He got to get up in here. It's a million LA rappers out here. Q actually mentioned a few to me that he that he liked. One of them is resting in peace. So rest in peace that man. Yeah. Rest in peace Draco. Yeah, my boy. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a few that Q had mentioned to me. You feel me? But he still was like, nigga, you the most different. Like, you feel me? Yeah. So... Um, Back to your uncle though, T. Rogers. That's crazy. my grandfather. Your grandfather. Sorry. Yes, sir. Your gra back to your grandfather. Like, did uh, did Denzel Washington have to pay that nigga to uh, shoot training day or what? Uh, I think, <laughs> did I think, T. Rogers get all the money and who got think, the money? I think Blood got some money. Yeah. I can't speak for none of the because I know my uncle was in that in that in that in that movie too. He um he in jail right now too. That nigga Big Bosco. Yeah. So um, it was a couple of homies that's really like in that movie. I can't speak. That that shit was before my time. <laughs> I was born in '97. There gotta that be movie? some stories in this motherfucker. Like T. Rogers <laughs> took the money. Yeah, I mean, yeah. But who gonna say yeah. that? I don't know, but it's <laughs> sick though that he did. They had to pay that nigga uh, though. Oh God, that's hard. No, you uh, to even come over here and film. Like, yeah, come on. That's hard though. Come on, everything that me? bumped through there that was like you feel me for real. Like, let me see, Waka Flocka. Yeah, nigga, my my uncle shot that video. Not not T. Rogers, but my, my uncle, my actual uncle, he died too. But he the nigga who shot um YG shit. He shot um what what was YG movie called? Blame it on the streets. And banging my uncle shot that. Lucky Rogers. Yeah. B S I P. Oh, that's hard. Yeah. I, I'm really like, bro, my whole thing is I never wanted to be like, oh yeah, this is my grandfather. Nigga, do a song with me. Or right, nigga, this my do a song with me. Blood, this my people's do a song. <laughs> like that's what niggas be doing. And I'm never one of them niggas because I really got a pen. And I don't think nobody can fuck with it. Yeah. You um yeah. you you brought up Q a few times, man, just to, uh, you know, for the viewers. How did you um meet Q? That's my big brother now. We just gonna say that. That's my big brother. That's family. Yeah. But 
He won't tell me how he found me, but he hit me up on on, on Instagram, nigga. Four o'clock in, in on one random ass morning. Four o'clock in the morning, one random ass day. I think Blood was working out or something. I'm in my room playing a game. I'm like, Blood. I wake my mama up like, Mama, you know who this is? <laughs> she like, because <laughs> you know that was back around when nigga woke his mama up. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I made it, nigga. We ain't even think it's going crazy. I can make it. Yeah. I can make it. I have to wake moms up. Nah, cause you know, um, you know, I don't mean to be speaking bad on nobody's name, but you know when when the, uh when that nigga the game, not him, but them scams was going around about blood, like hitting up artists, like, oh you gonna be on my mixtape, whoop 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 whoop. Uh, the homie got done like that from Lil Bow Wow. Hey, man. Oh, I'm just saying. God. <laughs> from his page. I don't, I don't even know why. From Bow Wow page? It was Bow Wow page. I got talking about right now. That <laughs> 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 nigga ain't playing with Chad. <laughs> <laughs> nigga was like, oh, no. Nigga was like, he was like, I can promote your page and the whole da 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 Nigga like, nigga, you got nigga, me fucked up. Nigga not playing with Chad, bro. We going to go get that nigga. <laughs> We gonna need all that back and then some. Yeah, yeah, nah, he crazy. But yeah. so it, it was around that time. So I'm like, damn. But you know, I'm I'm on the gram, so I know. I'm like, okay, this that blue check. You feel me? So I'm just like, bro, like you feel me? What's happening? Like, nigga, you not just about to follow me and don't tap in? Like, what's bracket? He like, nigga, you hard as a motherfucker. Like, keep going. Like, nigga, I'm feel me? We gonna get in the studio, all that shit. Like, nigga, I'm like, nigga, call me. It's like four in the morning, blood face on me, nigga. Like, yeah, I'm working out and shit, nigga. But like I was saying, bro, like you really, like you different, nigga. Like, I, I, I you got a lot of potential. Like, nigga, I just want you to, nigga, come, I don't even know what I want, nigga. Just come be around me. Like, nigga, just come, just come over here. So this nigga, actually, he pulled up to one of my studio sessions before he, we, we really locked in. So it was probably like a, like three weeks or a month after that. I sent him an Addy. We was just having a regular little session, like it's the type of shit we be on. He pull up. That nigga, he walk in, greet everybody. What's up? I'm Q. I'm Q. You feel me? I'm schoolboy Q. What's happening? Whoopty whoop. Humble as the fuck. Nigga, I'm like, what's happening? Like, nigga, let's step out real quick. Let's, you feel me? Chop it up. So we chop it up. He like, bro, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, I don't sign artists. Like, I ain't never did no shit like that. But nigga, like, you you gonna be my artist. Like, you hard than a motherfucker. Like, if you feel me, I, I don't know who you with or what you doing. I'm like, nigga, I'm broke as the fuck. I don't do shit. <laughs> nigga, I just, I just get, in the, I get in the studio with them niggas you see right there. We put our last little hundreds together and we get in the studio. You feel me? Yeah. When, however, whenever we can, we make it work. I got one nigga that engineer. I got one nigga, well, like, four, five, six niggas make beats. Me and this nigga rap. The homie that just came home, he rap, produce, all the shits. So, you feel me? I got a couple cameramen back here, man. Like I said, I got a whole record label. We we put this shit together amongst us. So, I ain't gonna say he was the first nigga to recognize it, but he was the first nigga to really be like, nigga, I see what you doing. You feel me? Like, I, like I other people... I understand it. Other people tap in. He understand it. You feel me? Other people tap in with me. They be like, bro, you feel me? You hard. Let's do a song. We might do a song. We might put it out. They might want to delete it because I'm too hard. It's, you feel me? Niggas that try to run off with my shit. Like, you feel me? I hear blood doing a, my whole song with another nigga. I'm just like, bro. You feel me? Still niggas I'm bull with to this day, though. You feel me? I Man, ain't you know what? Niggas from me? the 50s is real family oriented. You know, real loyal Man. niggas. Real stomp down. You Y'all the so only I, niggas that bang around and did that for me. Ain't, nigga, I got a whole, nigga, new generation, not even new generation, it's older, all my whole hood doing something right now. And I love it. I support everybody from my section to the fullest. But do you see me amongst my section? There's nothing against it. Like I said, I, I know niggas since I was this high, up in, from when they was the raising niggas. Like if you watch my old videos, go watch Stotty K. You gonna see the Baby Stone Gorillas in that motherfucker? Just yeah. go watch my old shit. You gonna see them niggas like my nigga? They fuck with you right now? Yes, nigga, I can call EK. That's the the main one I fuck with. But like I told you before, P4K, my cousin. Yeah. And just how they did me in the set, I did blood like that in the set. When he used to come try to bang and hang with us, get up out of here, bro. I don't wanna hear that from your mama, but like we not doing that. Like you feel me? I ain't telling you not to bang because I'm doing it, but get, don't do it with and me. And his daddy a nigga. And his daddy a nigga. Come on. Yeah. His daddy wasn't even in jail at the time, I don't think. I don't even know. Yeah, that's kind of like the same situation. Like, come on, bro. I'm not yeah. letting it. I ain't, I'm not letting it. Well, not under me. You're not about to. Because at this time, I'm still balling. I'm supposed to be playing football. On my spare time, I'm hanging and banging with the homies. You feel me? Because I was already rapping and doing all the shit. Like I said, my ninth grade year, I was all I was full-fledged football. My pops went to jail again my my uh, my 10th grade year. So I checked out and went to Dorsey. But when he got out, he checked me out of Dorsey and put me right back in that private school. 
And I was back to doing the same shit. But I got hurt my 11th grade year. And then it was up. Like, nigga, Joe Moses hit me. It's over with. I'm, I'm doing this. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing this. And that's that, That's who was on the 30K song with me. Like I said, yeah, I went Shout viral. out Joe Moses, too. Yeah, shout out my nigga. Yeah. Um, like you said, like, like I said, you know, niggas from the 50s is real loyal, real stomp down, you know what I'm saying, real family oriented. When they when they attach your, when they attach themselves to something, they, they really like, nigga, nah, they, you my nigga. And you said that was your family. Like, this my brother. Like, he really is. Like, besides music, though, you feel me? Like, tell me some of those conversations, you know, some of those convos that you be having in the studio. So, you know. I ain't gonna lie. Like, he be heavy on the drink. You feel me? I don't drink. But when he pull me up a shot or, or a double shot, I'm going to sip that motherfucker. So we get to talking. So not everything. You si so you sipping shots. I don't do it with these <laughs> niggas. <laughs> this nigga got this little ass man doing this. Oh, no, nah, it's, a, it's, oh, no. it's a glass. It's like a toast. You know when you take a toast? Yeah. You know when you took that motherfucker like. Yeah, you feel me? When they give you a little toast, but I'm telling blood, like, don't pour me no real glass because that motherfucker ain't about to get oh, yeah. swallowed. Blood is over with. Yeah. I'm not drinking no nothing. That shit gonna have me shoot this motherfucker up. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm retarded. Like, I didn't really been, you feel me? So. But yeah, yeah, tell me some of those convos y'all be having, man. You know, just on a That's personal tip, man. Like, shit, he don't even post that much. But uh, shit, if you seen like his last couple of posts, like he posted one time when he was in the studio, he had like some bottles. I think it was his birthday, like a red rag, a blue blue rag and shit. First of all, he I, I ain't seen you not one motherfucking time. Me? And I'm finna, yeah, and I'm gonna no. tell you this story right now. Like, I, I was like, who I, who should I interview? Yeah. And niggas tagging your name. So I'm like, let me go to this shit. I go to this shit, and all I see is Q. And I'm like, this nigga don't like nobody fucking pictures. So I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm finna hit this nigga DM him. I didn't ask Q shit. Yeah. I didn't ask nobody nothing. And I just know if this nigga is even bothering, even even the, taking his time to go like, mm -hmm. go nigga to your like, page. Nigga like everything he I post. with you. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm finna go to this nigga nigga and, 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 and hit you, and then and we here. You I can post some on my shoes right now. He gonna like it. That's my big brother. It's yeah. not even that. He he just showing that. He's showing that to niggas. Like yeah, this is my young nigga. Like I could I could have fucked up though, cause I hit you first, and then I hit him. Yeah. Then I was like, shit, we gonna come. To, I, I, we gonna you know what to do. Yeah. And then I hit him. I'm like, you know this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> like no, I don't know that nigga. You know what little. He could even like, oh, know that nigga. You know what I'm saying? But he was like, no, I know that nigga. Fuck with that nigga. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Like yeah. I, I hope. I ain't do no dumb shit yeah, but, Shout out my saying? big brother I didn't even know That's why I was on here man Or whatever Whoever told you to tap in Shout out whoever told you To tap yeah, in Yeah that was cool man Yeah cause fans Oh yeah well shout out My fucking fans I love y'all Yeah nigga fans nigga. Yeah cause I got real fans I don't be buying shit Fans and other homies too <laughs> From the 50s too But yeah, fans now, Shout out the fucking 50s too To my brothers too Yeah On fans, set I was yeah. raised in a set But nigga 50s is my niggas yeah. Like 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 your homies like even the nigga traffic me and traffic got some shit. He tapped in. He told man, me too. Yeah, he traffic is my motherfucking nigga. I can't wait till we drop the shit. We got TF. That's my big brother. We got gang of shit. And nigga, not the niggas. That's not even like no rappers. Just like y'all regular homies. Yeah. Yeah. Like y'all young niggas. Y'all old niggas. Like you feel me? One thing that did I did hear, you know, listening to a few things you were saying, you say you was having a convo. I was asking you what were those convos was like, cause you had a convo with uh, Q and you had a convo with, with Kendrick, Kendrick. Yeah. and then niggas is talking to you and telling you and trying to, you know, guide you the right way. No, I can't. Everybody don't get that. Nobody get that. No, <laughs> look, no. Unless they out of here already. Get that. Unless yeah, they out of here already. Like, yeah. You like, know, I mean, like so, nigga, paint that picture right I now. I can't even paint like, it. You really, gotta paint it. I can't recollect like what we discussed. Q, I can because we didn't had multiple nights. Yeah, I only met Kendrick one fucking time. You feel me? But the conversation we had that night, to me, it's like, nigga, for one, it's fucking mind blowing. I mean, don't get me wrong. I grew up listening to Q, but. Kendrick is one of my favorite rappers. You feel me? I grew, nigga, they all together. You can't listen to one of them, not listen to the other. Even Rock, like J Rock, I just met J Rock like a, like last, like two, three months ago on his birthday. Yeah. I just met that nigga on his birthday, but it's for, it's going to forever be mind blowing just to see these niggas. Like, I be with Q every day. Every time blood pull up, I'm like, man, I can't wait till I give you one of them motherfuckers right there on the set. Oh, that, that ghost <laughs> thing, that rape thing. Come on, man. Ah! That nigga shit now. Hey, man, blood got drunk one night, told me to uh, tell the nigga to move that motherfucker. I'm like, no. 
<laughs> I know. ain't finna fuck that shit up. <laughs> he fucked it up. He yeah. brushed that motherfucker. He was so hot. <laughs> Bro, it was so hot that night. But man, like I said, it's endless nights. Like I've been, I been with Blood for how, how long it's been? Like two and a half years? It's like two years? So I've been like every day. Like going to the studio Monday through Friday for the last two years with Blood. Every day. And I ain't seen like, you not once. You're not going to see me. He on look, post. And look, I don't even go to the studio. Look, that, one time I was like, you know what? I'm going to go to the studio. You know, I'm old. I be tired of bitch. I'm like, I'm going to go to the studio. He like, all right, come. He go to the address, blah, blah, blah. And he like, all right, it's at 10. I'm thinking you rap niggas go at 10 p.m. I'm like, it's, it's lit. It's not at night. No. So my dumb ass stay up. I got, I'm like, I'm tired. This nigga's at 10? <laughs> so I get up, right? I go to the studio. Boom. I'm like, you know, it's Q here. These niggas thinking I'm trying to rob the nigga. Because I'm doing the thing. They like, Q. And I'm like, Q, the nigga say he here. This nigga famous, nigga. <laughs> Talk about Q. Which one you go to? Schoolboy Q. You went to look, Encore? Look, hold on, look. I the nigga it. like, yeah, Schoolboy Q. So I called the nigga. I'm like, where you at, nigga? It's 10. He was like, bitch, I said 10 a.m. I'm like, <laughs> oh. After banking, he go, he go morning. He go, you feel me, morning to tonight. I'm like, nigga, I ain't never he, coming back to this He go nighttime nigga. sometimes, you feel me? But yeah. he more of a, he, want, he energized nigga in the daytime. Nigga switched up on the nigga. Oh, no, oh, nigga. I'm like, I ain't coming back to this bitch, nigga. Yeah, he want to be nigga. in that bitch daytime. Yeah, but, but they, they oh yeah, go ahead, go ahead. What, I was saying which what studio you go to? Was it a TDE studio? It was a Burbank, nigga. Oh yeah, it was right here. Right That's yeah. the one I was at. You would have yeah. been a nigga like, if you was there at 10 yeah. in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> so you niggas is waking up at eight in the morning, eating oh, cereal to go to the studio like I said, at ten AM. Look, y'all like niggas, I said, That's wild. Two, I ain't never heard of that. Two two years ago. We yeah. were scraping up our last fifty hundred dollars to get in the studio. Yeah, yeah. we there every day. Yeah, eat this grapes. Nigga, good this grapes. nigga, noodles, whatever, <laughs> bagels, whatever <laughs> in that shit. Yeah. We eat that shit on the set. We there. Yeah. Nigga, this nigga that had me around. Nelly, Buddy, YG, Kendrick, nigga, Rico Nasty, goddamn Tyler the Creator. Who the fuck? Uh, Sony Digital. Sony Digital, nigga. I can. The, who? Ray Trummer, nigga. Why? Ear drummers. I saw my nigga was doing songs with Nelly. Blood was there. <laughs> Nelly, Nelly's son is one of my best friends. Blood called oh, me blood. every like every day. What? Blood living the loo. He be tapping in. Nigga, I got oh, songs with Blood. I got songs with Nelly's son. Stop, oh, man. Blood. Like oh, I said, blood. I don't, I don't even. You feel me? Like I said, niggas is scared of me. So I, I work how, how I work. I like to make good music. You feel me? So if niggas don't be on that, they don't be like, oh yeah, we gonna, you feel me? I but mean, besides that, if it's are, competition, it's besides that, with. are they trying to develop you as an artist? Um, Q is. I, I yeah. don't have that many. Like I don't have relations with Top. Yeah. But everybody else, Musa, Top Son, uh -huh. er, everybody. You feel me? Like I said, right? I didn't met Rock. I didn't met everybody. I didn't even met Top, but I don't have a relationship with him. You feel me? So I can't say that they are working on me. But Q is. He didn't tell me, yo, I'm you gonna bro, you're gonna get some. What's the development process? I'm really just in every studio session. I'm actually like helping him. If I grab the mic, like nigga, say something on the mic, nigga, whatever. He he'll slide on that shit. Me and Blood got songs together. Yeah. I got songs with him. He didn't gave me a song with Chike. A song he was supposed to do, he gave it to me. Him that he him and Chike was supposed to do. He gave that motherfucker to me. It's out right now. It's called sliding. No, that's hard though. Man, I was gonna ask you about that's that. That's my shit big too. brother. Yeah. That's my big brother. Yeah. I asked that nigga to give me some features. He told me he was gonna do it, but I ain't been I ain't been pressing blood. Being you from know? TDE is, is crazy. You know what I'm saying? And Man. being in development stages, being around all those people, being even being in a mature setting, because I call it a mature setting, because this is mature sure. rap shit. For sure. These niggas ain't just saying like hey, throw the beat on. I'm, I'm These not, niggas I'm got not a 90 wanted, niggas in here making the beat. I'm not one of the niggas that <laughs> they be comparing me to. I, I'm just gonna say that. I'm not a, a, a regular LA rapper. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. That's the first, the first, the two niggas Q compared me to was, was Kendrick Lamar and um, B. Brazy. I don't see the Kendrick Lamar, B. Brazy all the way. But, shit, he say I sound like a young doc, then I sound like a young doc. But he know he was there. I, you feel me? Young doc, maybe as, you know, being hungry. Yeah, for sure. You know, ambitious. For sure. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Artistry is going to come in there. Yeah. You love what you do. For sure. It's a whole, uh, it's a numerous of things. I know there. I ain't even hit, of things that I you know, can, you can I know put down. I ain't hit nowhere near my pinnacle or nothing that I can reach. I know that for a fact. Yeah. That's something I do know. You feel me? He, he preaches that to me. Like, you feel me? You going, you going to be like a nigga. Like, you feel me? So at some point, do you feel like it's a weight on your shoulders? No. I feel like I better be ready for whatever the fuck come my way. 
Yeah. And ain't no, it ain't, it ain't no, you feel me? Oh, it's too much. Or, it ain't none of that. I didn't been in the studio right. with YG and all them. And they passed me the mic like, huh? And I was in there like, um, blood. damn, blood. Y'all ain't got no West, oh, y'all ain't yeah, got yeah, no, no West Side <laughs> shit. <laughs> they like, nigga, get, <laughs> get, your, get your little ass up out of here, nigga. But they passed me the mic back. Nigga, I said, like, nigga, one line, nigga, for the hook, nigga. Slid, Nelly, Buddy, YG, all on one track. Q2. Nigga, they got that shit stashed somewhere. It was like a freestyle, so it's not like a real song. Oh, but, no, it's know. on the hard drive. Yeah, it's on there. It's I on got, there. Man, I got so many songs with Q. I got a song with, with Q, Chike, uh, One Take J, and Kaylin Pharrell. I don't know what the fuck they going to do with the song. I mean, no, he making an album right now. But now I got a song with Q rapping, and I'm just saying the ad-libs and, and like the, the skit on that motherfucker. Like, man, I got so much shit with Q, or just so much shit in the vault. On they hard drive, it's crazy. I got so much of my own music too, but I mean, cause you got artists like Baby King, right? You know, and you, this nigga hard. You know what I'm saying? And, Come on, and man. you know, for, for a motherfucker to, for, for to be in that development stage is like I would have like some type of weight on my shoulder. I'd be kind of nervous, like fuck. I gotta go out here and probably the pass reason, this torch. The only See, reason you, you ready to pass that, the torch? Only reason I can say that now. Well, get the torch passed to you. Only reason I can say that now I'm, that I'm ready is because I've been in them rooms. Yeah. A year ago, two years ago, fuck no, I wasn't ready. And that's why you ain't heard about me a year ago or two years ago. How did them rooms change you? Like you said, them conversations. How yeah. can you not? Like, I, I play football, so motivation and discipline and all that is in my blood. You feel me? I've been doing that football since I was six. So, you feel me? I can watch a, a Reggie Bush highlight. I can watch some shit like that and be like, nigga, I'm about to go... Juke a nigga just like this. Watch blood be on my next highlight. Yeah. I was I was that good. So not saying that I'm a I'm a good impersonator or nothing, but I use a different type of motivation. Like niggas will be get around them and get cocky. It's not about it's not about being cocky. It's about being ready. You feel me? Because like you said, that torch could get passed to me, and it's either I'm a fumble that bag or I'm a I'm a make something out of it. I'm a change my whole. City, my whole nation. I'm gonna change everything around this motherfucker. Damn. So, like, you know, cause what keep you in, like, being inspired sitting in that motherfucker? Like, I, cause you can get cocky in there too. Like, no, nah. I'm a nigga. Yeah. But, you know, like, what's your musical, you know, like, processes and, you know, what keep you inspired other, the than, fact the, the, that I other can, than the conversation? The, the fact that I can be one of them. Yeah. It's not even a lot of niggas that are on right now that feel like they can be one of them. And you know what? That's super crazy. You know why? And it's that shit like is it. motivational. You That's, know what I'm saying? You know on, why? Bro. Because they from where we from. And they got paper. And they young. Come on, bro. And they just sitting there Come looking on, at bro. them. Like, just looking at blood. Yeah. No, he don't wear no jewelry, no nothing. Blood, regular ass nigga. This my homie. So, <laughs> I mean... I don't I don't get shocked about what you how much you got as far as materialistic wise. Yeah, I don't yeah. give a fuck, but seeing where you came from and where you at right now, it's just that's mind blowing. It's like, damn, I seen you on the you were broke as the bitch on the couch. And then they ain't no and like they ain't all no, of them, you know. They what ain't saying? no weird niggas. They ain't super you know what I'm saying, humble, stomp down niggas. Nigga, my, my mama, my bit everybody be asking me, like, is you sure? Like you like you getting close to where you wanna is you sure this what you wanna do? Like you know you gotta do feel me, people do weird shit, you know it's all type of weird shit in it. I'm like nigga, the niggas I'm even like if I got picked up by somebody else, you feel me, I still probably be like, damn. This shit low, you feel me? Shit is weird. Yeah. But the niggas that I'm around, I don't have no fear in the game. I don't have no fear of nothing, really, at all. I don't have no fear of nothing, but I don't have no fear in nobody trying to, like, you feel me? You're not going to fuck over my name. My name is too solid, you feel me? And, you know, grabbing all that energy, grabbing all that positive energy, and then going home or going to your, your niggas' studio, you know what I'm saying? I didn't even get a chance for you to introduce them, but... I definitely want to know how, you know what I'm saying, you you let all that energy out and let it, and how does it, you know, come out? How does it reflect on you guys? You feel me? Be, Do you before guys I just say, it? you feel me, I'm going to let them get that shit off before they at the studio with Q. Yeah. But they met nigga Isaiah Rashad, Ray Strummer, you feel me? Who who else was in that motherfucker? Was it? Nah, no, you, you weren't there. Dot was there. Well, they nah, met a gang of not. niggas, but they met everybody out of name probably except Dot. Nigga, Mustard be in the studio with us every day in the back. Yeah. 
He don't say nothing to us, but <laughs> he did. <laughs> Could have asked that nigga. Shout he a cool blood. nigga too. Man, you just Shout gotta call. Blood. Just gotta holler to him. Yeah. He be. He be. You, you just feel gotta me? holler at him. What's up? You feel me? Yeah, say what's I up to him. us. He see my face. I'm sure if he see my face on here. He gonna be like, that's that little nigga that be with Q. Yeah. Yeah, but let's send me some beats. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta holler at the yeah, niggas. But said. introduce your niggas, though. Introduce your niggas. Go ahead, bro. I got his name. Biggest fuck on this shirt. Go ahead. Yeah. 1700. Produced by 1700. I make beats and shit. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. You're a producer. Yes, yeah, sir. you hear you hear my yeah. music. You gonna hear 1700. That's my yeah, motherfucking nigga. It's his voice. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So he, he hogging you? What you as mean? far as being a producer, nah, can got, you make other? I got, you know what I'm saying? I got him. I got a Z major. Yeah, got I got like a six, seven damn producers. pocket D Mac. I there's some niggas in the building. I got I I got a team. Like I said, I got a gang of producers, yeah, and they all we, uh, start going to the studio with them. Our process already mimics that shit. Yeah, we had we, so many producers yeah. in there. It was the same process. He like probably seen look, that when he pulled up too. Like, damn, it's not just this nigga in here getting beats off YouTube and shit. Yeah, sure. six, seven oh, niggas man. in here making beats from the scratch. That's exactly. what I'm saying. Like our whole little music process, we nigga, we do what they do. Nigga, they hook up a couple of you. Feel me? I ain't gonna give you a recipe, but then yeah. niggas, they all working at once. You feel me? Everybody working at one time. Even Q with the mic in his hand, they making the beat. He rapping at the same time. Like they making the beat. I ain't never seen no shit like this. Like karaoke in that motherfucker, but yeah. in there making a song. Nigga just rapping, flowing, front off the dome. That's why when I got in that motherfucker, he was mad because I don't freestyle. You feel me? I write everything. I like the, you feel me? I said I got a lot of shit to talk about, so I be wanting to put that that pen, <laughs> that pen on that paper. You feel me? Nigga in there like, nah, man, fuck that nigga. Man, he said everybody, some shit. Uh, everybody can't be Wayne. You feel me? Yeah. Everybody can't be Wayne. But now nah, I feel like I can just collect my thoughts better. Like this is, you feel me? Just saying the first thing that come to mind is cool, but it's like, man. Also, it's organic though. It's the first thing you feeling. You feel me? And For it sure. It might come off a little For bit. Sure. People make it, you know, see where you coming from. Yeah. Other than trying to be. St- too strategic with yeah, the shit. Yeah, nah, for sure. I mean, it's it's cool. It's some songs where I just I just feel that shit. I can go off the top. I ain't even like you feel me. But even then, I still want to like have that note. Like you feel me? That note of my music. Like yeah, I don't want to just rap that shit and then I gotta go. Wait, what the fuck I say? All right, let me write this on paper. Like nah, I want to put my shit down already. I ain't no going, ain't no fucking up. Like. Like I said, they make my beats. So if you listen to my song, all my drops and all that shit is on point. You feel me? That shit is made for me. All my all my songs, my is made to match my voice. All that shit. They make we make music for each other. You feel me? Like to compliment each other, not for each other, but to compliment. Like they make shit for my voice. I make shit for the the type of beat that they giving me. You feel me? Yeah. Not everything is just gang shit. Not everything is just about my my life. Some shit be about a bitch. It all depends. So what, what what you got going on, my brother? You know what I'm saying? Let the people know who you yeah, is. Ahead, you feel me? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Get the mic. Let me say you sitting oh, here. Man, let it nah, do. Yeah, man. I'm Gleezy Wallace here. You feel me? You know yeah. Man? It's big. You feel me? This a little big, bro. But yeah. You feel me? <laughs> nah, this, this is my gang, uncle. This, gang, this is my big. mama's little brother. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, yes, sir. What? Yeah. This is my mama. This is my mama's little brother. Oh, man. This your mama, little brother? Oh, man. He 26. I'm 25. So her mama was still getting it cracking. Oh, she bro. got you. Hey, but I get off my granny, but I don't need oh, it. I, 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 I gotta go over here. What's up, my brother? <laughs> get off my granny, oh, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> But yeah, how long you been doing this shit, bro? Is it like uh, what we been doing this shit, Jank? Like what? Since 2014, seriously? 2014, yeah, yeah, we probably started like December 2013. But yeah. 2014, yeah. we first hopped on stage or did our major feature. Yeah. Yeah. But nigga, he asking yeah. you about you though. Go ahead. Yeah, nah, yeah, man. Nigga, working on some shit. I'm working on an album right now. So you feel bullshit. me? Party uh, in the hills, probably, uh, but yeah, man. Nigga just working right now. What's your shit called? Party in the Hills, nigga. <laughs> My nigga interviewing his own artist. <laughs> Go ahead, nigga. Said, you sitting right hills, here, nigga. nigga. You yeah, better nah. hurry up, nigga. Come nah, on. Yeah, Party in the Hills on me. I'm working on the album right now. Yeah. Yeah. No, I wouldn't call I wouldn't call him my artist. I would call him my producer, but I wouldn't call him my artist. Why? Only because he helped me establish what we doing. That's your uncle, cuz. It's my fucking uncle too. Yeah, no, you can't call him that. Come on, man. No, but this niggas don't be knowing uncle, that shit though. Like yeah. even when niggas find that shit out, niggas just should be mind blowing. Like, I can bang it. Blood was born. Blood was born a year and three days before me. Um, His yeah. birthday mm-hmm. is the twenty second of February. Mine's the twenty fifth. Blood okay. was born ninety six. I'm ninety seven. 
That's crazy. Mm, crack babies. Bruh. Real crack babies. Oh, yeah. Bruh. That's Real crazy. Dirty juggle babies. Hey, you uh, know what? Uh, one thing about uh, TDE, they uh, music ain't regional. You feel me? Anyway? Shit, my music and, uh, ain't even local, so shit, you ain't heard about me. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, tell me about <laughs> that. You feel? Do you feel like you feel me? You gonna hop out that? Hop Man, out this I'm, little stigma that the I West Coast like, has? I, I feel, like, feel like I feel like once like people catch wind of what I'm doing when they hear my music, it's over with. All I needed to be was heard. You feel me? Uh huh. I can't even say that that Q did that for me. Not to take nothing from my big brother because that nigga did everything in more for a nigga, but he ain't even like posted my music yet. Like the day that nigga posts my music, three million it's followers over. out. It's over, nigga. What? I'm out of here. I know that. I believe he know that. That's why he taking it slow. I don't care. You feel me? I ain't, I ain't trying to be on the mall. I know I'm gonna be here forever. Do you feel like you know I gotta have this process and I'm in this learning mm -hmm. process mm -hmm. and like I, I do you feel fake. like you know do you feel like you know what I ain't gonna drop no music until these niggas say go or do you feel like fuck it I'm gonna just drop my shit? No, I'm dropping music. I don't give a fuck who say what. Yeah, I'm dropping music because I know TD be I'll be holding they shit and all that. I get on TD, they gonna be mad. They gonna, I'm gonna leak every everything. They gonna be mad. <laughs> Top gonna wanna fade. Q gonna wanna fade. Yeah. I'll be like, what? What happened? I don't, I don't know what happened. Go get that new shit. Yeah, go get I'm not it. playing. I drop music like it ain't no thing. This year been slow because I've been fighting that case. So I only mm. dropped like two projects. What I dropped last year, like three, four projects last year. The year before that, like six. Seven. Like six projects, six projects in one year. Yeah, go that was 2020 when I first out, got man. picked up. Niggas don't know who I am. Oh, y'all gonna hear who I am? Go all gang indie, all out. distro. That wasn't even the, the year I got picked. That was the year Q heard about me. But yeah, all all yeah. indie, all distro. Yeah. I'm still doing mm -hmm. indie distro. I got my own record label. I'm not changing that until somebody got the right price. Um, and I'm TDE still. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I'm TDE still. Without being signed? Without being signed. Tell Nobody told me, hey, bro, take that out your bio. Hey, nah, look, hey, Q, man, K, Q can't do that. Nigga, ain't, ain't nobody told me nothing. Everybody be like, man, this my little bro. Come on, nigga, come through here. The manager, everybody, no matter who it is. Ain't nobody turning me away. I ain't got turned away not one time being at TDE. Nobody's never told me no. That's, a, that's a sick I only ass. Asked, that's sick. I asked Q for, for one thing, and that's because... I couldn't get my money off because I had spent too much money one day. You feel me? I couldn't pay for my video. It was like two hundred dollars. I asked him for like two hundred dollars. He like, huh? I'm like, I'm about to cash happen to you. He like, and went back to his session. But that's the only thing I ever asked bro for. Because what the fuck do I need to ask him for if he putting me in a room with Kendrick Lamar? Other than being in a room with Kendrick Lamar, what was the most legendary session you ever been in? YG, Buddy, and Nelly all at one time. On 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 uh, buddy birthday, going crazy. Was they recording or was they just in there going crazy, was just a, on some normal the, shit? That was the night I I did the shit that all of them hopped on. Damn, that's that hard. Was, that was that same night. Still to this day, I'll be talking to Buddy about doing the song. Buddy, I need that feature, blood. That's my dog, though. Buddy, yeah. my dog. He know. He replied to me. Nigga, everybody, man, you know how many blue checks follow my two thousand follower. I was looking. Ass. Yeah, and that's that's tight though. Come on, that's man. That's tight though. But yeah, I'm, I'm really a nigga, but niggas don't want me to be a nigga because I'm already prematurely a nigga, and they don't like that. Are these niggas that you're talking about that were your friends no, before, I don't, or the, niggas that friends, you feel like is in the industry? Because I feel friend, like niggas in the industry really probably want you to do your thing, but is this niggas no, that was hating anybody on you? I met in the industry genuine? Yeah. YG, anybody that you genuine? So, so these LA. Are niggas that you grew up with? Anybody LA based? Anybody LA based? They got a problem with me? Not even a problem, but they don't. They, they see the success rate. Yeah. They know theirs is not going to be as great as mine, which is fine. My my path is already written. I wouldn't be where I'm at if it wasn't. And do you feel like that because you ask a couple favors from niggas? And, or, it's not even you know favors. Saying, it's features or anything and exactly it's, funny? It's, it's, it's exactly features. It's, it's Like I said, it's not about doing the feature. A nigga do the feature. He won't repost it or he probably asked me to delete it. I done had niggas ask me to delete songs. Hey man, I got labels looking at me, man. Go ahead. No, nah, I don't, I don't we. <laughs> man, we all got labels looking at us, nigga. <laughs> you ask a nigga to post some shit, nigga say I got labels Come looking on, at me. Nigga, I posted the song. He sent me the song. Up, I put my verse on and told why. me to delete it. Niggas be pressured up. Niggas be pressured. It's a lot of pressure being applied. I baby. post your shit. That's all I'm gonna say, come on, guys. Hey, you gonna you gonna be you gonna be big. You, yeah, come on, you gonna man. be one. Of, you gonna be one of my clothing nigga, drilling yeah. nigga for you. I promise on, you. Just man. like I told Q, because I don't have too many niggas doing that for me. Yeah, it's niggas out that. here that'll be like, yeah, bro, you hard, and then. 
That's it. Like, that you hard. Nigga, I ain't got to help you. Yeah, nigga, I ain't got to post your shit. I don't give a fuck if you hard. But my whole thing is don't pay me no attention. I don't give a fuck if I'm hard. Don't comment on my shit. Don't like my shit. Don't tell me, oh, yeah, nigga, we're going to get in the studio when you see me out. Don't be, you feel me, all in my face. Don't do that. Because I'm not on you like that. I'm not approaching niggas like, hey, bro, can you do this song with me? Hey, I'm in your DM, bro. You trying to do this song? I see you out. Hey, bro, you trying to do a song? I'm not, like I just told you, I'm not one of them niggas that's, hey, bro, you going to do this because I'm with you. No, I'm a nigga. I know that. I ain't, if you don't know that, that's on you. If you don't want to know that, that's on you. Like I said, my shit is written. I don't feel like a nigga that's not going to make it. Yeah. If I felt like a nigga that's not going to make it, I'd be a tad more thirsty. Because I'm thirsty as a motherfucker. Don't get me wrong. That's why I said, ain't nobody peeing fucking with mine. And if they feel like it is, tell them to prove it. Because I'm going to prove that. I'm not just saying that because I'm on no jumper. Yeah. No disrespect to no jumper. But fuck this shit. Nigga, I'm really the hardest shit. Like, I'm really one of the hardest niggas. Young niggas coming up out the bitty. I and I wouldn't have a step I I got if I if I if it wasn't that. Yeah, all right, yeah. I fuck, fuck with it. Shit, man. Yeah, he that popping shit that up, shit. Don't run that yeah. shit out, gang. Yeah, all yeah, right. Yeah, whole lot of gang shit. Nigga. Yeah, but so before we yeah. get out of here, tell these niggas what you got, what you got oh, coming. Bro. You know what I'm saying? What you doing? All the shit, producers, rapper, artists. You feel me? Let niggas know. For sure. Um, shit, y'all y'all want to go first on y'all tapes? Um, shit. Well, as I already said, go easy, wireless. He gonna run that shit up, man. At the end of the month, thirty first. Or whatever you feel me, gonna run that shit up on all platforms. Party in the hills, man. Gonna run that shit up. Show Instagram and shit. Let the nigga know something. Uh, Ogoezy, or you feel me? You can follow me on Ogoezy at Wild ST. Feel me? Gonna uh, run that 1700, shit up. Seventeen uh, hundred. I got a tape coming up. Me and my homie J Money right there. He do podcasts and shit. He be uh, interviewing artists. Shout so, out up next shout pod, out gang on me. Up next, me, ENT, up next podcast. But yeah, we working on a, a project. He be curating projects too. So he grab artists, and do the interviews, and we get in the studio. Put it together, so we got that coming. I don't, uh, like what September we said, like mid September. Oh, man, uh, run that yeah. shit up. Follow yeah. me on Instagram, seventeen hundred beats. Yeah, yes, sir. Hey, man, if y'all don't know me now, y'all should. Jank a wild st, and um, shit. My project just dropped. It's a uh, nineteen. I mean nine hundred old. I don't even know what the fuck my shit called. What it called? It's a, it's a number. It's a, it's the zip code for the set. I think it's nine. Niggas ain't, nine, nine, niggas ain't prepping you right, man. Get nine, it together. Nine, you from TD? Hold nine, on. Nine, we nine, gonna start nine, that nine, over for you. Nigga about to prep. I just be smack. Hold on. I ain't gonna lie to you. We gonna start over. I be smack. I've been telling them the name of the shit the whole time, and I can't even. When I get up here, but it's nine thousand. It's nine thousand oh eight. Yeah, 9,008. Yeah, like okay. I said, 9,008. You <laughs> feel me? Man, the Ball Village is the big exact, nigga. Y'all know shit. what it is, nigga. The Ball Village is the big exact, nigga. You can, you can check out a gang of my shit. I got um, <laughs> Bury Me and Balenciaga. I think I got uh, Chike on that one. Who else I got on? Uh, Osby Chill. Y'all yeah. had him up, up here. Osby I got him, fe- Osby, I got him featured on there. And then I got some other. What's my other project that I got everybody on? Uh, Proximity. I think I got TF, Big Sad on there. Ooh, I think I got Chike on there too. Yeah, and shit. But besides that, besides my, my past projects, what I'm working on next, um, shit, I'm probably going to do a collab project with my boy from Dago. His name Flashy B. Shout out my boy. And um, shit, I'm going to work on another project, probably just self-written. Because, like, I... If you don't, like, well, you're not familiar. I drop, like, in seasons, you feel me? I drop, like, party music. Then I drop, like, some summer vibe music. Then I drop some real TDE rap shit. Then I come back to my, you feel me, West Coast, turn up, party, gang, bang, bullshit vibes. And I feel like that's what uh, 9008 is. That's my bullshit party, you feel me, party vibes, you feel me? So my next tape, like I said, it's going to be a collab tape. I can't really give you the name and all that shit of that one yet, but I'm going to drop uh, T. Rogers' grandson before this year drop. I'm going to try. I'm going to try before this year drop. That's hard. Yeah, I'm going to drop T. Rogers' grandson. It's going to be my album. That's going to be the only album I dropped this year, I believe. That's uh, hard. But yeah, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Back on Fig. Y'all can reach me. You know what I'm saying? SoSorella.com for all the females, man. Y'all go ahead and get that. You feel me? No jumper out here moving. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, we got my boy, man. We up out of here. Gang, the gang, the gang, nigga. Yeah, we out. Gone.